Hi, this is Ed with Richie Industries. Today we're talking about some customer questions. Um, some of the questions we get involve uh, potential valve leaking problems. So we're going to go over some of the troubleshooting tips that we offer people when they call in with those kind of issues. The first thing we're going to ask you to do is to make sure that your float is running straight up and down and to make sure it's not rubbing on uh, a frame or on a trough or anything like that. Um, with these valves, there is a gasket between the valve body and the valve orifice. And uh, if that gets misplaced, sometimes that can get turned off to the side. Something like that, maybe. And then your float isn't going to be running straight vertical up and down. That can create some binding issues. So we want to make sure that that is oriented correctly so that it is operating straight up and down. Uh, we're going to check the valve rubber. Uh, you can get wear on a valve rubber and we need to check and make sure that that's in good condition. So I can inspect my valve rubber seat area. If that appears to have any damage or any debris or any anything that makes you concerned, you can pull that rubber out, flip it over and get to a new side on the back side to use. If you're going to flip that over, it's probably a good time to consider buying some replacements so the next time you have something to put back in. Um, along with the debris on the, on the valve rubber, uh, there is a possibility that if you have debris kind of in place on your valve rubber, you may get to a situation where you could damage your valve seat. And that would be the little disc area here that's raised on the on the face of the valve by the orifice there and if there's any kind of dings or dents in that that can create a possible leak path for water uh, debris issues can be common on new installations if the water line isn't flushed out completely you can have a little bit of something in that water line and when you go to start your water up some of that debris can possibly get caught in your valve area uh, another thing we're going to ask you to walk through is going to be uh, if you have a high pressure situation. Um, the way our valves operate, the float comes up with the water level. That puts pressure on our valve seat inside up against the orifice. What that's going to do is just restrict that water flow until it's almost stopped. And you're going to get some dripping out of here. And what it's then going to do is it's then got to raise that water level enough to put enough pressure on that to completely shut that off. Um, when you're in a dripping situation, it might take a while to get enough water level change to be able to add that much pressure onto this float. I have seen conditions where you could get dripping 15 to 20 minutes after you think the valve should really be stopped. It, it will eventually stop. So we just want to make sure that what you're your issue might just be normal operation of the valve. We want to make sure that you actually have an overflowing condition. Another thing that we're going to talk to you about if you call in with this kind of problem, we're going to talk to you about a high pressure situation. Our green valve is rated up to 80 PSI. If you find that the pressure at your installation is above that, uh, we do offer a pressure regulator that would lower that line pressure down and keep you away from a high pressure situation. Uh, if you find you need components for your three-quarter inch valve, check with your local Ritchie dealer, or you can check us out at RitchieFount.com. Thank you.